we see Brad Kozlowski and the transition now to driver owner with Roush Fenway Keslowski RFK Racing and how would you grade what Keslowski has been able to do in 2022. So I was fortunate enough to have an event last week in Las Vegas that Brad also attended away from the racetrack and gave us a chance to catch up for a little bit and I asked him that I said all right give me the rating what you expect what did you say and he, you know he was kind of how I saw the year some parts much better than expected right the 17 the other RFK team of Chris Buescher has gone to victory lane. Brad won a duel back in Daytona. There was some moments of time. Um, he goes, so their best days are what he had hoped for. He was just a little surprised at how much up and down they would have. Their bad days are really bad. He goes, there have been some weeks that we have just not been good. It's that consistency that he's trying to find. He also said, self-admittedly, he likes being part of the ownership group, but he is definitely having to learn to manage being a race car driver, a race car owner, and a dad, right? He has a lot going on in his life, and he's added a very, you know, big position of race car team owner. You mentioned RFK with his initial now on it. So he's trying to manage all that. But, um, hey, look, he was talking to a whole bunch of sponsors at this event. Brad looked really comfortable. Looked like an owner. Had a sport <laughs> coat on. So uh, it was good to catch up with Brad. Well, he brings the kind of the Penske mentality to what Roush Fenway had. And really, when I say that, he went into the shops at Roush Fenway and looked around and said, okay, why are these things sitting around here? And some of it was old cars, some of it was parts, some of it was the equipment that they used. And they said, well, you know, that's, that's stuff that we have used in the past. And he said, we need to get rid of that. We need to get rid of everything that's old and we need to focus on what we need in here. We don't need to worry about what happened before. Let's focus on the future. And so they went and started selling things. They sold it. all of the pieces and parts of old vehicles that were sitting around at Roush Fenway. And he said, this is where we're, we're focusing on the future, not the past. Yeah, winning's a mentality, and you got to bring it kind of in every area.